In this video, I'm going to show you how to build Coco Studio X latest version, which is version 3.7 native in Linux. So as you can see here, I'm using Ubuntu. And if I click here to download the file, I'm going to obtain a compressed file in zip format. So what I just did is to copy that to my home folder here in Linux and I just decompress that to Cocos to the X 3.7. So I'm going to open a console here. I'm going to that directory, CD Cocos to the X 3.7. So the first thing that I need to do is to run a Python script, which is called setup.p. So what it does is to configure all the environment variables needed for for building in different platforms as you can see here is making reference to some variables needed for doing the android build but uh, for this video uh, we're just doing the um, the native linux build so let's do what it says here to run this to apply all the changes that the set to p script has created on our system. Okay, so after doing this, the cocos command is now active, which means that it will allow me to create a new project. Let's say cocos new, let's say Linux test, for instance, that's the name of the project. It's going to create a folder with that name, and the project name for the different platforms is going to be Linux test. Let's say that the package name that it's going to be useful for many platforms like Android, for instance, it's going to be test. Let's say that the language that could be either C++, Lua, or JavaScript is going to be C++ in this case. And the directory where I'm going to store this is going to be projects which is a directory that I have just created inside my Cocos to the X 3.5 directory. It's just that I'm used to it because that's the way we used to do it in Cocos 2.x, but you can create the project wherever you want. You don't have to do it inside the Cocos folder. But uh, I just want to keep track of what projects I have for each version. So th th that's what we're going to do. When I Hit on enter, it will take around uh, 15 seconds, depending on your PC and your your specs, to create the template project. So, finished, so let's go to that folder, projects, here, it has created the Linux test directory. So, if you can see here, he has created this file, the cmakelist.txt. It contains all the information that the cmake command needs in order to create the, the build files. So for this particular um, video tutorial, we're going to use CodeBlocks, which is an easy to use IDE that is available for the major platforms like Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So as you can see here, he can create many different type of projects. You know, like we can create a project for Eclipse, for Code Blocks. He has different generators. So here we're just going to use the Code Blocks Unix Make File Generator. You can just copy this. Now uh, click copy. I pull some quotes here, and here we go. You see, really fast, he has created that code blocks project. So what I'm going to do now is just, um, I'm going through the UI, I'm going to that folder, Cocos 3.7, projects, uh, Linux test, and here you can see the code blocks project. As soon as it opens, you're going to see that it's really straightforward, really well structured and organized. Okay, here we are. So we can open the source files. So we can see here, he has the template focus 
uh, put the files and I'll have word scene and app delegate. So uh, let's build this. Um, if I click here or press F9 in the keyboard, it's going to make the build. The build is going to take a while. It depends on your PC. It could be uh, from three to five minutes. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pause the video until the build has finished. All right, so the build has finished. So some minor configuration tweaks we have to do now. Um, I have right clicked the project. I click here on properties and here in build target, it came by default as commands only. But what I'm going to do is uh, that I'm going to click here on console application. Uh, let's say that the output file is going to be my game here in the bin directory. Click on replace. Okay, and let's hit this button that's going to build and run. So you can see how fast it came. Hello world. So let's say that I want to modify something. Let's say that instead of hello world, I want to say uh, goodbye world, something like that. <laughs> Could be a little, mean, little bit mean. <laughs> that's okay. So let's do that. Here in the hello world scene.cpp file, let's modify this in the init method. Instead of hello world, let's write here, um, let's write something less mean like hello Linux. So if I hit on F9 on the keyboard, it's going to build and run. It will take like uh, five minutes to, to build. I didn't pause the video now, so you can see that it won't take longer. Now you see, hello Linux, I have here my stats and everything. Um, particularly, I recommend to use this technique to build native Linux, Mac, or, or Windows, whatever you are, so you can work faster than working for a mobile platform directly. Like, as you know, for Android platform, the emulator doesn't run very well, it's too slow, don't waste your time with that. And um, you can just build here in Linux, and then you just have to build for mobile platform just for packaging stuff. So another cool stuff about building native is that you can test different resolutions. So let's say that I want to test how this game is going to look if I uh, run it in the first I iPhone that was released. So in order to do that, I just here in the app delegate class, I'm going to change the frame size. So here, GL view, set frame size. Let's say I want 200, 320 by 408. That was the first resolution of the iPhone. So here I can change my title. Let's say it's going to be Linux game, for instance. So if I click here or press F9 on the keyboard, so you can see that the window is going to be a little bit um, smaller. You see, that's the iOS resolution, the first iPhone, as I told you. And you can see that the compilation is done really fast. Here you have your your console, so you can see we're using Cocos PDF 3.7 and if I write some logs, it's going to be output here in the, the console. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos about Cocos 2DX, just visit my web page, which is www.laidato.org. www.laidato.org. Thanks for watching, guys.